Here's a question about the IMAX, since we're talking about that from Teo. He's one of our uh, reviewers. He's questioning about the IMAX enhanced. Does it change the base management to 70 hertz in the AVR? Uh, but, well, I can actually answer, answer that. Remember, there's the default the um, IMAX. There's a default um, crossover setting that the receiver has for IMAX enhanced. But um, one of the things that you can do with a DIN and a receiver, depending on the output of your speakers, is you do have the capability of adjusting the um, low pass and, and high pass settings between your subs and your mains when you are playing IMAX enhanced content. Those menus are not visible on a Marantz or Denon receiver unless you're playing IMAX enhanced content. That's so strange. I know. Well, the thing is they figured that it, you shouldn't be adjusting something that, you can, that you're not playing. So, so <laughs> they just basically give you extra menus, but the way you find those menus is you actually have to be playing a piece of IMAX enhanced and then you can go in and you can make some different adjustments for crossovers if your speakers can handle it. If so does it default? It. Does it default to no base management at all on the receivers? If you don't go in and change it, would all speakers run full range in IMAX? Well, the way the way the IMAX works, because um, we got we've done the whole session with these guys. Basically, there's a, a, a base management. They do a little bit of a set up changes to base management, the crossover things. They have a fixed thing that they believe that if you're playing the speakers, you'll get the impact of an IMAX theater. So you have your DTS piece of DTSX piece of content. When it sees the flag, the receiver will change its parameters based on the recommendations from DTSX and IMAX or Xperia and IMAX. Um, um, you have the option of going in and overriding their recommendations, you know, and changing the crossover settings. I mean, the, the crossover points and things like that. So you, so it will say, okay, you set up your system for your Dolby Atmos and your DTSX, you use your Odyssey, you dial it any way you want. Okay. Once you do that, it says, okay, now, since I know what your baseline is, I'm going to apply um, the curves and the other settings that IMAX recommends for that um, to give you the impact of an IMAX theater. And you have the option on our receivers of going in and changing that if you want to. But most people, if you leave it alone, um, the demos that we use, that we do in, that we do at trade shows, we run the default demos and um, the, the default um, curves and everything else, and it's absolutely crazy good. So, but you mm -hmm. can go in and make the adjustments if you want to. So once you make the change the first time, does it retain that or do you have to- It retains it that, it, it retains okay. that. It says, okay, so this is how you want your DTSX to play back. And this is how you want your IMAX enhanced to play back. So once it knows, it saves those settings. Gotcha.